Namaskaram. In this session, we will discuss another technique for solving non-homogeneous linear ordinary differential equations with a constant coefficient. Okay. That is method of variation of parameters. These are the solutions of last homework. Okay, first we are going to define a round skin. A round skin of two functions, y1 of x and y2 of x. It is defined as like this. Uh, w of round skin of y1 and y2 is equal to determinant. It's a determinant. Determinant of y1, y2, y1 dash, y2 dash. Okay, y1 dash represents derivative of y1 with respect to Simply we denote this round skin by w. Method of variation of parameters is a technique for finding particular solution. Okay, what do you mean by particular solution? We know that the solution of this type of ODE is nothing. It is equal to YH plus YP. And what is YH? YH is the solution corresponding, general solution corresponding to homogeneous equation. Homogeneous equation means this is the homogeneous equation corresponding to this ODE. The right hand side is zero. Okay. So its general solution is YH and Oh, sorry, this is actually YP. And what is YP? YP is nothing. It is the uh, it is the it is the it, it is any solution. YP is any solution of given ODE. Okay. And using this method, we can find YP using this formula. Okay. The advantage of this formula is there is no restriction for this right hand side. In our previous method, that is method of undetermined coefficients, this right hand side has some restriction has some special forms for r of x then only we can apply method of undetermined to coefficient. okay here there is no restriction for r of x okay that's the advantage of method of variation of parameters and one more thing and this y1 y2 this y1 y2 form a basis of solutions of this homogeneous equation this is nothing it is the corresponding homogeneous corresponding homogeneous equation of given ODE. okay and what is basis basis means nothing it is uh, one of them is not a Killer multiple of other that is called basis. Okay. And what about this W? W is nothing. W is the uh, round skin of these two basis solutions. That is uh, W is equal to uh, y1, y2, y1 dash, y2 dash. This is our round skin. Okay. So we have to find, first of all, we have to solve corresponding homogeneous equation and find uh, two solutions y1, y2, such a that such a way that say basis. Okay, that means one of them is not a scalar multiple of other. Then you find the round skin, then substitute in this formula. Okay, R is nothing, it is the right hand side of this given ODE. This is the idea of finding a particular solution for a uh, particular solution in this method. Okay. So anyway, this is general scenario. Uh, we have to, in our course, we have to discuss only a special type of uh, ODE that is with the constant coefficients. That means instead of P of X, uh, some a and b that means a differential equation with the constant coefficients okay we will see in detail okay so this is the general form of uh, second order ode uh, with the constant coefficients okay instead of p of x uh, a is a number or so b is also a number okay so next we are going to solve such problem using method of variation of parameters okay so first of all we have to find uh, a basis solution for corresponding homogeneous equation and we know that how to solve y double dash plus a y dash plus b y equal to zero this is the corresponding homogeneous equation okay and we have a method for solving uh, such uh, a homogeneous equation so this is the solution corresponding to this homogeneous equation y h is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 okay for applying method of variation of parameters we have to find a basis solution for uh, this ODE. Okay. Actually, uh, this y1, y2, that is, uh, the, this y1, y2 is given by our algorithm. This y1, y2 always form a basis. Okay. That's a result. Okay. So, already we know oh, this is the general solution of this ODE. This given ODE, yh plus yp, yh is the solution corresponding to general solution corresponding to homogeneous equation then we have to find only yp yp is what yp is nothing it is the particular solution particular solution of this ODE that means any solution of this ODE okay so using uh, method of variation of parameters 
we can find a solution. This is the formula yp is equal to minus y1 integral y2 r by w dx plus y2 integral y1 r by w dx. And what is w? w is the Ron scan. Ron scan of this, uh, this uh, basis solution. That means Ron scan of this y1 and y2. This y1, y2, y1 dash. Okay. So this algorithm always gives a basis for this homogeneous equation. So we can easily find the round skin, then substitute here, then integrate. So, okay, solve this problem. Y double dash plus Y is equal to CX. It is clear that here the right hand side is not in standard form of our table one in previous session. Anyway, we have to solve this problem using method of variation parameters. Okay, so to solve, uh, to solve using method of variation parameters, first we have to find a basis solution for corresponding homogeneous equation. It is very easy. We have to just consider our homogeneous equation that is y double dash plus y equal to 0. Then you write the auxiliary equation. What is auxiliary equation? That is m square plus 1 equal to 0. Then by solving this auxiliary equation, we get m is equal to plus or minus i. Okay. So what is the solution corresponding to this root? It's a complex root. So what is the solution? That is our yh. Okay. Yh is nothing. It is the solution corresponding to this uh, homogeneous equation. That is here, uh, this is alpha plus or minus i beta form. So it is clear that here alpha equal to 0 and beta equal to 1. Equal to one. So e raised to uh, alpha x, so that is e raised to 0 into c1 cos beta x, beta is 1 cos x plus c2 sin beta x, that is here beta is 1. So, so uh, this is equal to 1. So y is equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. Okay. So, what is our y1 and what is our y2? Yeah, our solution is c1 y1 plus c2 y2, right? So y1 is nothing, it is cos x and y2 is sin x. Now we have a basis for solutions of this equation. Okay, so now next we have to find the Ron skin. What is the Ron skin? Ron skin is y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash. So just some, simply substituting this y1 y2, then this becomes. So this becomes determinant of cos x sin x minus sin x cos x and by taking the determinant this becomes cos square x plus sin square x that is equal to 1. So round skin is 1. Okay. Okay. Anyway this is the formula for evaluating the particular integral. So first we are going to evaluate these two integrals separately that means integral y2 r by w and integral y1 r by w. Then we just substitute these two quantities in this equation to find our particular solution. Okay. So our first, first part is integral y2 r by w that become integral y2 is uh, sin x sin x into r r means the right hand side that is our sec x by w is 1 dx okay okay that is equal to integral and this is 1 by cos x so this become integral tan x dx and uh, the integral of tan x is nothing it is minus log modulus of cos x okay now need of constant of integration for Finding the particular integral because particular integral is any solution. Okay, we have to find only one solution. So no need of constant integration. Okay. Next we have to evaluate this thing. It is very trivial because this is equal to integral cos x or y1 is cos x, cos x into sec x by 1 dx. And sec x sec x is nothing, it is 1 by cos, so this becomes uh, 1. So integral 1 dx that is x. Okay. Now we are ready to write the particular in particular solution. Okay, so this is our gen formula of general solution y is equal to yh plus yp. And what is yp? By method of separation variables, it is minus y1 integral y2 r by w dx plus y2 into integral of. Okay, we know what is these two integrals. We computed these two integrals here. You just sum simply substitute y1, y2 and all these integrals. So this become, so this become c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. This is our yh, the solution, the general solution corresponding to homogeneous equation. Minus y1, our y1 is cos x, so minus cos x into this integral. This integral is uh, minus log mod cos x plus y2, y2 is sin x, so sin x into this integral. And second integral becomes x, so into x. Okay. Okay, now we can rearrange. Uh, first we can consider the terms containing cos x. That means uh, these two terms. Now you can take cos x outside 
and next we consider these two terms here sin x is common so you can take outside so this become c2 plus x into sin x so this is the general solution for uh, this given order differential equation yes this is the general solution okay minus 6y dash plus 9y equal to e raised to 3x by x square so first we have to find yh that means the solution corresponding to the homogeneous equation uh, y double dash minus 6y dash plus and y equal to 0 okay this is the auxiliary equation and correspond to this equation the roots are 3 3 real and repeated so it's a solution yh is equal to c1 plus c2x into e raised to 3x okay next we have to find the particular solution by method of variation of parameters uh, to find c y1 and y2 we have to expand this bracket that is c1 e raised to 3x plus c2x e raised to 3x so this is our y1 and this is our y2 okay so we can take y1 as e raised to 3x and y2 as x e raised to next we have to find the ron skin of y1 and y2 this is y1 and this is y2 okay, this is the derivative of y1 this is the derivative of y2 and by expanding this determinant this become e raised to 6x for applying this uh, variation of parameters we have to compute these two integrals and run this one so this become integral what is our y2 y2 is x raised to 3x and r is this one e raised to 3x by x square and divided by a uh, ronskin ronskin is e raised to 6x okay so we can cancel this e raised to 6x and you can cancel 1x so this become integral 1 by x dx that is log x similarly we can evaluate the second integral this is integral e raised to 3x and e raised to 3x by x square that is our w uh, sorry this is our r and our w series 6x okay so this become a one integral 1 by x square dx and uh, integral and this integration become minus 1 by x okay so now we are ready to write our particular integral particular solution or particular integral <coughs> this is our yp so this become minus of what is our y1 y1 is e raised to 3x into this integral is log x x plus y2 y2 is x e raised to 3x into the second integral become minus 1 by x so you can cancel this x and e raised to 3x is common so you can take outside so this expression become minus e raised to 3x into log x plus okay then next we have to write the general solution what is our general solution general solution y is equal to yh plus yp and our yh is c1 plus c2x into e raised to 3x uh, our yp become minus e raised to 3x into log x plus okay so this is the general solution of given problem okay okay this is your homework Thank you.